Welcome everyone to another quick little video and no your eyes are not deceiving you that does say CIS 9 beta on the desktop. Yes I do have a copy of Komodo's version 9 beta and no it is not publicly released yet however I did get my hands on a copy of it and I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the changes. Uh, so without further ado let's go ahead and open up the interface. Right off the bat there we go you will see that the interface has been completely redesigned now, my first thoughts on the interface is basic and novice. That, that's really what, what comes to mind when I see this interface. And I understand that Komodo is trying to go ahead and appeal to more of the novice user, but I, I kind of want to see Komodo still appeal to the advanced user just because Komodo is so powerful. And, and can offer so much, I think this really just does not do it justice in the sense of everything it offers. Now, I do like in version 8 how they did have the two separate interfaces. They had the more simple interface and then they had the more detailed interface. So now keep in mind this is very early in the beta, so I'm not going to be, be too harsh on Komodo and their choices on the interfaces just because they might not have added the second interface that might be still in production. Um, but however, I think they're on the right track with this interface, at least in the sense of being easy to understand as well as getting the basics across. As you can see, we have a scan button right here. You click that, it presents you with the scan options. Boom, that gets the point across to the user right away what they just clicked on and what the task is uh, going to be uh, up and coming in a sense. Uh, and as you can see right here, this is still the old interface or the old theme. So like I said, nothing has really changed um, too much with this except for the main interface and then a couple more things I'll get into a little bit later. Um, so then we got the update button right down here. I'm not going to click that because it's going to try and update the program to an older version because this is not the official beta release yet. So um, yeah, essentially that has not changed too, but it's in this easy spot. Um, and then they have this uh, unblock application window basically. Now this to me uh, hopefully will be easier for the average user to, to do because Komodo uses automatic sandboxing. Sometimes genuine applications will get thrown into a sandboxed environment and will not work properly then. This allows the user to quickly go in and uh, basically take that outside of the sandbox. But on the other hand, this could also allow them to unsandbox malware uh, depending on how Komodo has their safeguards in place, whether it will prevent something like that from happening um, or if, that, if something like that could be a possibility. We'll just have to wait and see later on down the road. Uh, secure shopping, don't necessarily know what this is yet. Uh, they might not have the web page online just because of the fact that uh, it's so early in the beta. However, um, this could be a feature only available to premium users. Like I said, a lot of things are still in the dark with this. So um, we'll just have to wait and see. But they did revamp their uh, warranty uh, for the their program too, their virus-free warranty. So they've redone that. That could be related to what that is. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, do not disturb, essentially it's game mode, so click that, it shows up as game mode. Um, personally, I think I just leave it at game mode and, and not do not disturb because the average user is not going to go in here and do this and quite frankly, I don't think you want them to do that, so I would just leave that at game mode. Click on tasks up here, it presents you with the task menu such as the other version 8, did much of the same thing, however, it is more touch friendly and um, I think just a lot more easy to understand and in the sense of the color scheme is a lot more flat and and kind of soft on the eyes if you want to say. Now I'm, I'm more of a fan of the darker interface that they used in uh, version 5, uh, but that's just me. I know a lot of people prefer more of the lighter inter interface in the sense of the contrasting and things like that. So you got your firewall tasks right here, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, sandboxing tasks right over here, as well as uh, advanced tasks. Uh, now if we open it, the, let's see here, we got to go back to home and we go to settings because the settings is now located on the home screen here. Uh, as you can see, this hasn't changed much at all in the way of uh, aesthetics and options are pretty much all the same. I did go through here and from what I can see, there's nothing that really has changed. Um, however, as you can see, the menus up here have definitely improved in the sense of they got rid of that little drawer thing and I really really did not like that. So I think they're definitely in this right direction by adding the menus directly on the window instead of having the user um, requiring them, I should say, to click on a little drawer that opens up. I know McAfee has 
used that for years and it drove me absolutely insane because you'd have like three scroll bars at sometimes it was just ridiculous and it was, it was super annoying so um, I, I kind of felt that that was kind of going in the same direction so that's nice to see them get rid of that in a sense making everything up front and uh, on the screen here so uh, let's go ahead and we'll just kind of go through this over here and as you can see we click on one of them you go to add boom you can get right to where you want to go same thing with edit after we obviously select an item uh, they work perfectly fine and it's a lot quicker than having to open up that little drawer thing and do that so that's going to be it for this video guys like i said no security test because it's so early on um, i know it's not much it's a little five minute video but hopefully we will be getting a techie and another techie versus user video out uh, we had made one uh, i got the configuration so maybe i'll update that on uh uh, anti malware product so um maybe i'll update maybe I'll upload that but i don't know the prevention test was just an absolute disaster and i tried to salvage it but i'm really thinking it's just better off better off redoing it quite frankly it's just an absolute mess so unfortunately uh might be have to you guys might have to wait a little bit for the next techie versus user but hopefully this weekend uh, he'll be around and we can go ahead and whip up another techie versus user and um, I think you'll like the program I'm testing and uh, well quite frankly spoiler alert uh, I was pretty impressed at how it did um, but that's all I'm gonna say is uh, and leave it at that so we'll have to see in uh, how the next prevention test goes so that's it I'm rambling again guys I'll let you guys go. Hope you enjoyed this little sneak peek of Komodo Internet Security Beta Version 9. So until next video, guys, talk to you later.